Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and uh, we've learned a few things today about uh, the versions of Windows this year. Of course, one of the things we already know is that 21H2, the next version of Windows 10 coming in the second half of this year, will be a big update with lots of changes and features. Well, we are learning that 21H1 which we didn't have any idea if it was going to happen or not, is going to happen. So what we have learned is that a document where, you know, enthusiasts are looking at everything at Microsoft trying to find information. And uh, one of the leaked information that they found is that the 21H1 is a thing and it's going to be build numbers 19043. Now let's look at this for a second. I'm on the October 2020 update and we look at the WinVer command or the Windows version, you'll notice that I'm at 19042. If you're on the May 2020 update, your build number is 19041. They are tied or linked because it's pretty much the same version except with a few little details that have changed. Well, 19043, just one little number higher, is going to be in the same thing. So all three versions are going to be following each other with the same updates. So when there's uh, patch Tuesday updates, of course, and when there's bug fixing updates, all three versions will have the same ending. So right now, if we look at May and October, well, the May update, you guys are on 19041.746. The October, it's 19042.746. If there would be right now release 19043, it would also be at .746. They will be following with the same updates. There's mention of new features, but we don't really know exactly what they are. And since it's just a small cumulative update again, there probably won't be a lot of new features. And we know that the big features are coming later this year. So we know that Windows 10 X is RTM pretty much. That means that it's ready for release, um, uh, basically. And now we know that 21H1 is a thing that's going to happen with a very small update. Uh, for the first time ever, two small cumulative updates rather than um, you know a big update in the first half of the year. In the past couple of years, we had a feature, major feature update was the first version of the year. And the end, the second half of the year was a small cumulative update. Well, this year, it's now going to be reversed. They're changing that. So that means that we'll have that small cumulative update, which I think everybody likes because, you know, gives them more time with uh, what's happening. And these cumulative updates are smaller, so there's less chance of anything going, um, you know, uh, wrong with the update and we'll focus now on the second half of the year when the next build will actually be available or uh, 21 h2 and and all the big features that will be in there if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching